Joining a private SMP can be quite difficult because of requirements that are needed in order to join. That's why in today's video, I'm going to be going over three of the top public lifesteal SMPs that I was able to find. That way, you don't have to deal with going through the process of joining a private one. But anyway, let's get into the first SMP. The first one, which is probably tied for my favorite one, is um, the Bumblecraft SMP. Now, not only does it have a lifesteal SMP, it also has other SMPs that you can play if you do end up getting bored of that lifesteal SMP. Now, what exactly does it also have? It has a survival SMP, an earth SMP, and one block and events. Now, all of these are on 1.18, which I feel like is definitely an upside to this SMP since it's well up to get up to date. Now, if I do end up joining the lifesteal SMP, you'll be greeted with quite a bit of npcs with different type of labels for example enchantments quests and admin shop and on the other side you have a lot more now one of the features that does make this a pretty good smp is the fact that it has a tutorial and what makes it unique is possibly this jobs feature that it has and of course you have other features that i am not mentioning like the crates now if you do slash vote you can get free items and of course outside of the actual spawn location when you do click on the lifesteal you have the entire actual plane area which would just be a regular minecraft seed out imagine and 1.18 you can use the slash wild command to actually go into a world as you can see uh yeah there's definitely been tracks of people being here overall a pretty cool smp that you could definitely consider joining to find more features that i didn't mention now let's move on to the second one This second one it does definitely is more like the Bumblecraft one as it does have other game modes but as you can see the lifesteal is clearly the most popular. Now like the other one if I click on the lifesteal I should be able to teleport to the spawn for this one and it also has the tutorial if you are lost. As you can see this one is slightly more packed than the other one maybe there's more to do in the spawn but just like the last one it does also have crates. And I'm pretty sure Bumblecraft also has this one. I don't know if I pointed it out. It also has an auction house, which I definitely think is kind of cool if you happen to get a decent amount of money. And you can just, well, buy some of the stuff that people are selling. In this one, if you go to the tutorial guy, you will see that there's no claiming and raiding. And it says to make sure your base is well hidden. Now, with claiming, I feel like there's ups and downs to it. And overall, I feel like it is a good feature. But like I said, there are some downsides to it. So if you are not a fan of claiming this will be probably better than bumblecraft and of course you can do slash kit i think to get some basic gear and i think that's what i did here and i got some stone some other stuff and i picked up some junk but that's gonna do it for this one so let's move on to the last one Moving on to the third one, you don't actually spawn here when you do load in, but I did enter the wild and you can't really get back to the spawn, which is a downside, but in the spawn, there is actually nothing to do. Now, the reason why this is on the list is because maybe one reason you don't like the last two is because of how many features there are and how complex it might be. So this one is truly just a basic one, meaning that the crates and the auction house won't be a feature in this one. It's more of just play and get your gear and then of course kill people if you prefer more classic smps this will definitely be the one you will want to play out of the three you still can vote to get early game rewards which is a part of probably majority of servers like this but honestly for this one i would prefer to have more features because in the future maybe you want more in order to have more to do now with most of these servers i have not pointed this out there is very little lag, which helps make these SMPs a lot better. But that is actually all, well, four that I was able to find that I think are really good SMPs that you should probably join if you are looking to join one. But anyway, I would really appreciate if you'd subscribe to help me reach 1k. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.